everyone. Hope you all are doing great today. Welcome to Glamco. We women gravitate towards everything that smells nice. Be it charges, deodorants, body lotions. So today, why don't we talk about something which really, really is an essential for all of us women. Perfumes. <laughs> But the best part about today's video is I'm actually not going to talk about the high-end perfumes. I'm going to talk about the dupes of the high-end perfumes which I picked up recently and I thought I should definitely review these for you so that if you're interested you can also go and pick them up. So to begin with I'm going to talk about this brand called Noga Perfumes. <laughs> Now look at the packaging. Would you believe that this is actually made in India? Yes. So this perfume brand is from India and they have come up with some luxurious, sophisticated perfumes. And uh, I was really keen to know and understand if their quality really matches with the high-end perfumes. So I went ahead and picked up a couple of them. Now, Noga perfumes do claim that they have a very good, uh, sophisticated arrangement for producing these uh, perfumes and they have some very, very good fragrance range. In fact, they have various variants. I managed to pick up only a couple of them, uh, but uh, they do have different variants of perfumes for different tastes and choices. Perfume as such is a very personal taste and what I may like, somebody else may not like, right? It's a very personal and unique taste. Everybody has their own choices, but there is a perfume for each one of us in their range, especially if you go through their top notes, heart notes and the base notes, you would definitely see some of your uh, personal favorites in them. Anoga perfumes has a fragrance for everyone like I said. If you go through their website they have fragrances for women as well as men actually. So uh, they do have very good notes. The website is quite detailed. It gives out clearly the kind of fragrance uh, the product is giving. The top notes, heart notes as well as the base notes which is a very nice thing because you want to see uh, if you are uh, fond of those notes or not right. So when they clearly list it down uh, it's easier for us consumers to make a choice now these perfumes retail at a 2690 something like that and i don't think this is a very high price to be paid for a 100 ml uh, product because usually the kind of uh, perfumes that we get in the market the imported ones uh, they are quite pricey right they don't come for less than seven or eight thousand especially if you want a higher a quantity in it like 100 ml you would have to pay that much so i felt that 2600 change is actually not a lot of money if you're getting a good luxurious perfume but we've often seen that uh, when we go and pick up these high-end uh, perfumes sometimes we end up liking the fragrance in the store but once we come back home and start using it on a daily basis it doesn't really appeal to us right and especially when we've paid so much for the high-end perfumes you do feel bad but um when you pick up these kind of dupes, uh, you can also test and try them out as well as you can save some of your money. If you don't like the fragrance over a long period of time, then also it's not going to pinch your pocket a lot, right? So, uh, which is why I thought that I'll review these dupes of high-end perfumes today for you. I picked up two of their uh, fragrance. First up, I'll be talking about their perfume known as the Fluorescence. Now, this one is more like uh, oriental floral kind of a scent. And I usually gravitate towards floral scents more than fruity or uh, woody. So I really wanted to test this one out. And to my surprise, this one happened to be a dupe of Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Wow, right? Now, this one retails for about 8,100 change on Nika, and uh, this one cost me 2,690. The notes are exactly the same. The top notes in this one are almond, coffee, bergamot, and lemon. 
The middle notes in this one are jasmine, tuberose, orris root, orange blossom and rose. The base notes in this one are tonka bean, cocoa, sandalwood, vanilla, cinnamon, cedar wood, a cashmere, patchouli, amber and musk. Now the top notes, middle notes and the base notes of this one is also exactly the same. I'll list down the notes for you so that it's easy for you to refer but I've already checked it and they are exactly the same. Even the scent right uh, both are pretty much uh, the same scents and I can easily say that this one is a close dupe of the good girl one. <laughs> They call this one as oriental floral i do feel that this has floral as well as woody scents in it it comes in a luxurious bottle like this and even the packaging is very good it comes in a beautiful eco-friendly packaging i'll also take you through how the packaging looks like when it came to me how it came the scent of this one is very luxurious it's also long lasting you don't really need to spray this one within five hours of a uh, time i've used this and i do feel that it does sustain the uh, staying power it smells good definitely i don't think that it would smell as uh, great as the uh, good girl one because uh, the price difference as you can see it but if you're okay to re uh, spray the perfume then i think this one is a fantastic buy because uh, definitely the fragrance is exactly the same it's long lasting it's a good scent and uh, anybody would feel that you're wearing a luxe perfume uh, nobody would be able to figure out the difference uh, just that from a cost perspective there is a huge difference so it's going to really be pocket friendly next up i'm going to talk about the second perfume that i picked up from the noga perfumes now this one is called as uh, okay the name of the fragrance isn't mentioned on this it's just called as noga uh, that's it they've not really called uh, the scent out anywhere in fact so after picking up uh, the perfume you would literally forget the fragrance name but on the website this one is called as luxuriant it's also printed on the uh, packaging here so it's called as the luxuriant one and uh, the luxuriant one is described as spicy oriental it has some very interesting notes uh, the scent of this one is excellent you guys it's also very long lasting and you'll be surprised to know that it's the dupe of you know which one the black opium from YSL isn't that great? Now, Black Opium retails at about 7,100 in the market and this one cost me just about 2,600 change. So the price difference is huge, but the notes that they have used in this one is exactly the same as the YSL Black Opium one. So the top notes in this one is Pink Pepper, Orange Blossom and Pear. The top notes in uh, the Opium one is also the same. The middle notes in this one is Jasmine Coffee and Caramel. The middle notes in the YSL one though is jasmine coffee and licorice. The base notes in this one is patchouli, cedarwood and vanilla. Base notes in the opium one is also patchouli, cedarwood and vanilla. It also has cashmere in it. say that there's a slight difference in the notes that's about it but it's an exact dupe in terms of the fragrance also it comes almost 90 percent close to the ysl opium one and the uh, fragrance of the noga luxuriant one is excellent you guys i mean if i have to select my choice between the two perfumes that i picked up from noga then it would be this one because uh, the fragrance of this one is very good it's long lasting I think the way they've described it as spicy oriental, it goes very well with this one because it's a, a beautiful a scent. If you put this on, it's definitely going to be a head turner. It's quite concentrated actually. It is long lasting. The staying power of this one is excellent. And uh, I do feel that products like these have to be encouraged if we want them to be in the market or business in the long run, right? Because if we don't uh, pick up from them and if we don't encourage these brands, 
then they are not going to sustain themselves in the market especially these guys face very stiff competition from the imported brands only because we always keep running after imported brands we feel that they are far more uh, efficacious than these right and we are okay to pay the kind of money that they are demanding as well because we feel that they are very good right as you can see i have picked up the ysl black opium and the good girl perfume so all of us really go for uh, these high-end brands also once in a while because we want to test out these products also but that said i'm really not against testing out indian brands and indian products because i feel that we have to encourage our homegrown brands uh, the only thing that I noticed in these products is that the scents are made of blends which are quite similar. I would have liked it if they had changed, interchanged the blend or if they had uh, uh, used some other scents also to make their uh, perfumes uh, because uh, you don't want to uh, keep using the same notes, right? Uh, if the perfumes have different kind of scents in them, then it's easier for us also to make a choice. Uh, that said, I still feel that uh, these uh, perfumes are actually dupes of high-end different types of high-end perfumes uh, so they've used the same scents in those perfumes basically uh, what would also be nice is for this brand to come up with their own unique scent uh, because it's important to experiment and be different right uh, let's not always imitate the imported brands it's important for us also to stay uh, unique and different just the boxes right uh, now it comes in a big box like this so definitely this is going to be space consuming in your vanity so if you want to keep this with the packaging then it's going to consume a little bit space but uh, if you're okay to just uh, keep them like this then i think it's okay it's a small bottle uh, anyway it's 100 ml so you'll have to keep it as is so that's about it guys that was my little review on this perfume brand called noga I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly guys but uh, this is how I thought we should pronounce it. If you liked my review then please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Keep coming back for more because I have many more videos lined up. Thanks and bye.